Yeah, it, we have a tools and a community approach is very also important. Yeah, uh, these tests can be provided in the doorstep of the people, but but still it's it, it is not uh, happening. Uh, early diagnostic is very important because if it becomes uh, late, uh, it can also the uh, the cause the MDR and uh, XDRDV. So the diagnostic plays a very important role. Uh, infection also spread like it's, it's become mandatory. So even if we talk about the the immunocompromised people, it takes almost uh, two to three months to diagnose tuberculosis. If their condition become a uh, worst day by day, like the whole the if you can imagine like even when I got diagnosed like my RT started first and ATT started uh, later on but it is like the vice versa like uh, ATT has to be initiated first and then ART for the MDR we talk about that there is a shorter regiment like we are MSF is also talking about the shorter regiment for uh, it in place of 18 months uh, treatment it can be done in six months the WHO recommended uh, technologies and uh, are there and we should bring it to the uh, national policies uh, in India also like diagnostic especially and med medicines also uh, the shorter regimen for the TB is there so it has to be available in India also um, my name is Manitosh uh, Gildial and I am a community champion uh, and a person living with HIV and uh, also a TB survivor uh, so when we talk about a TB it, it TB cannot be talked alone as uh, HIV and TB are a co-infection which comes to uh, together if someone is uh, HIV positive generally it has been asked to go for the TB test and if someone comes uh, uh, TB positive so he has to go for the HIV so if even if the, there is uh, uh, the new technology came but still uh, if we talk about in the immunocompromised people like uh, people living with HIV diabetes is still uh, the diagnostic of uh, tuberculosis is the still a big issue a big challenge uh, so if we talk about the someone who comes uh, newly po uh, positive with HIV and uh, they have to go to the multiple uh, tests for the the TB so like uh, even uh, ultrasound and CBNET is there and uh, the there, there are many uh, tests like sputum test also so but is there are WHO has recommended other tests like a urine based test called the TB lamp test so it is very easy through that to detect the uh, tuberculosis though still uh, there it is not available in India so it is even the 20 uh, uh, 25 minutes you it is a urine based test so anyone can get uh, their uh, result and it will be like it is more effective than the CBNET test and other tests like it, it it accuracy is about 70 to 80 percent if we talk about the CBNET is only 40 to 50 percent in a PLHIV or immunocompromised people so they are these all are the challenges we have a tools and a community approach is very also important like uh, they have a uh, program has identified the community champion as uh, I'm also the TB uh, HIV uh, champion, uh, community champion, TB champ, uh, TB community champions, and they are play playing the very important role in this, uh, the bringing these uh, new cases within the community, like uh, key populations also, uh, PLHIV. If we talk about the sex workers and uh, transgenders, uh, uh, LGBT community people, M MSMs, and all. So the community champions are playing very important role in diagnostic, but the still the technology is there, and but it's it, be, it can be this uh, the these tests can be provided in the doorstep of the people, but but still it's it, it is not uh, happening. Uh, early diagnostic is very important because if it becomes uh, late, uh, it can also the uh, the cause the MDR and uh, XDRDV. So the diagnostic plays a very important role. Uh, infection also is spread like it's, it's become mandatory. So even if we talk talk about the, the immunocompromised people it takes almost uh, two to three months to diagnose tuberculosis if their condition become a uh, worst day by day like the whole the if you can imagine like even when I got diagnosed like my RT started first and 
ATT started uh, later on, but it is like the vice versa. Like uh, ATT has to be initiated first and then ART. So because of that side effect, uh, it become uh, very difficult to manage the side effect. And TB medicines are so hard. Uh, like uh, so it's become very difficult to manage uh, so like it keeps on person keeps on sweating for a month you can imagine on uh, with a fever and they have to change clothes three to four times in a day and they have to take the fee uh, pills like paracetamol for the fever four times in a day so these all are the challenges and the side effect management you can imagine new see sweating and all is there and uh, you can see the depression people also go on depression it was almost two months if we talk about the tuberculosis and hiv also it took one month or a more than uh, for me so because two if months. two months so they did my all mono uh, test and they did the ct scan uh, this and uh, x-ray also so they did not able to identify like i uh, am um, this they are saying someone is saying like in the uh, big big hospitals like medical colleges and they failed to identify so that all was the challenge and later on uh through the ultrasound they find one knot uh three uh, three mm knot and then they started my att so still if i it was in year 2013 so if still in the situation is same if uh, when i was working in advanced hiv uh, it uh, that it is a advocacy project so last year we went to the institute like aims lnjp in uh, delhi and the situation is still the same so if someone come with the newly diagnosed uh, hiv person come and he ha is having the all the symptoms of tuberculosis but it has not been like they on the basis of the screening also the uh, doctor did not initiate uh, the treatment so i find one i met with one guy so his situation was also the same later on it took almost two and a half months to diagnose tuberculosis so the person was on wheelchair and uh, he came, he was taking the treatment from the LNJP, ART has been uh, initiated there. But the person day by day, the condition of the person was becoming more critical. So they come to the AMC ART to just cross check with the doctor, with the, the to, t to take the second advice. So even the doctor said, you know, it's fine, he is not having the TB. But he was sweating, he was having the sweating and uh, the weight loss and the person was in wheelchair and uh, in fever too. So he uh, unfortunately he was about to leave that someone when they come, uh, they came to know about the newly diagnosed uh, people like with HIV and because of the discrimination stigma, they don't generally prefer to talk with you, anyone. So I went running behind him like when they uh, came came out of the ART because they feel like in ART talking with someone. So I tried to trace that guy and talk with him. So like, so I came to I realize this person is having the tuberculosis, and then we did the follow up, and uh, finally yeah, the tuberculosis get diagnosed, and he is so healthy now. He is uh, like after six months of the treatment, he become like fit. He is back to his work. Uh, like this was just so still uh, the VA in that we uh, try to uh, generate some evidence so that we can work for more advocacy work for the to bring the TB lamb in India and it's still the same for the MDR we talk about that there is a shorter regiment like we are MSF is also talking about the shorter regi regiment for uh, it in place of 18 months uh, treatment it can be done in six months so it will be if it I yeah, talk so about sorry, the did I hear you right? Eighteen months. Eighteen months. The TB treatment uh, should be two, six, six months. Six months. That's available. That's uh, possible. Uh, it's possible. But not available. Not, avail not available. Not available in the India. Government right? is not rolling yeah. out. And DS, DR, uh, drug sensitive TB. Yeah, the six months treatment is to be four months, I think. The yeah, new yeah. one, which one? And yeah. latent TB is, should be one month. One, one four six. Uh, one four but, six. Uh, it's so not available. It's right? not That's available, and it will be if it comes comes out like it will be very good for the especially for the PHIV or even compromised people. Also because they are in two types of medication like yeah, they have to take their ART also, and they have to deal with ATT too. So it become very difficult, and you can imagine like.
so much of pill burden it can also be reduced thank so you so how uh, how were you diagnosed with tb sorry to take you back to that point uh it was through the ultrasound finally yeah, ultrasound. and they find a uh, 3 mm nod in my okay. stomach okay. and then these so in earlier in the few programs of the uh, the national programs and some other programs also there it was there people used to go to the door steps and they collect the sputum also so and then the microbiological test they uh, do the and uh, the sputum test and then they so but uh, since the cb net is there so they recommend for the cb net uh, specially for the plh i will so so this is the ch- change uh, so the which happen and uh, we also advocated a lot for the cb net but still the machines are there like uh, it it was a national stock out for the arv drugs especially dtg 50 mg and uh, which is given to the co infected people uh, so dtg is dolita grivir dolita grivir to the co infected people uh, 50 mg to uh, with hiv uh, hiv and tb co infected people then they have to take 50 mg separately uh, with their medication so the, there was a stock out that of that uh, medicine also and uh, i think second uh, line me- arv medicines also and the pediatric medicines or uh, the nebrasine syrup also which is been given to the to prevent the newborn uh, bb from the mother the infected mother so if we are talking about the to end uh, the hiv so <laughs> by uh, 2030 so even though if in many pe- pe- uh, countries have eliminated the mother to child uh, transmission mm-hmm. like thailand uh, two three more countries sri lanka maldives uh, so many other countries so, so other countries if we talk about india is there is there will be a such a uh, huge stock out and they are the people who are they when we talk with the the naco people they say like it's it is available but very limited like if one person is registered in ppct so they it is a one only so if suddenly someone uh, came positive with hiv or the pregnant woman in private and she has been referred to the government facility for the nebrapine so they will not going to give them so it it was the situation like i don't know like how how india is going to tackle with all this even with the tb thing and any hiv also it's the elimination is i think we talk like is still the far behind so if there will be stuck out so these challenges still all these thing will be the challenges and these all are the, they know the numbers as you said and uh, the they we are dealing the tendering thing and uh, the tender has been given to the blacklisted company we heard that and that all this causes a mess big mess and the people were left behind without no medicines and they were struggling and even the they were not writing in their books so that people can uh, advocate for it came there is no supply or like this so it was it all happened and we started even this, uh, the the capitals of india delhi when it started happening in uh, delhi also so we we can assume like what was happening in all over the the country so then we uh, from the delhi network of positive people started uh, these to go to we go we first we went to disex and we have written many letters also to uh, national aids control organization and then finally we decided to go for uh, this protest day and night protest because of we are not left with any options so because we are people were uh, dying and you can assume like we talk Uh, we can not leave uh, hiv medicine for art for a single day even if we not get the medicines even we cannot leave att for a single day so how we are even it 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 can also cause uh, cause a resistance to the medicine it can be the big problem not only for us and for government too yes absolutely and more over because essentially this is a human rights imperative right yeah, it's a it's human rights human so rights issue. Mm-hmm. there's no excuse not to no excuse. Uh, not to do it properly. and as a community also we work and we also pay the yes. tax and it is also our right yes. to demand with the government yes. <laughs> yeah uh, my message is uh, very simple i want to say if the, the who recommended 
uh, technologies and uh, are there and we should bring it to the uh, national policies uh, in India also like diagnostic especially and med medicines also uh, the shorter regiment for the TB is there so it has to be available in India also so this is my message sure. thank you <laughs>